Hey folks, welcome to life on Beagle Road. You are literally on Beagle Road right now. This morning I am taking you to a goat birth. I got a text message this morning that um, a fellow goat mama had a goat in labor and I am going to go watch it. We have three does due over the next one to two months and I have never seen a goat give birth. I mean, the good news is I've given birth three times, so I get the idea, right? And I'm a mammal, somewhat similar. Only had one baby at a time though, so that'll be different. And my babies didn't have hooves. girls need more water. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I gotta go. Yeah. So she actually, I should have probably pulled her out. I'm, I actually, him, I might need to go in there because you see this here. Mm -hmm. It already pooped inside. Okay. Um, that's not really that great. <laughs> you really don't want that. Um, that means <laughs> it was in a probably a little too long, like the both cord already broke. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's another one in there. Okay. So. Typically they have twins. You can kind of tell by the size. Yeah. If they're, if they're twins or triplets even. I will sometimes wear gloves. I really don't like wearing gloves because I like to be able to feel what I'm doing in mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And um, the only time I wear them is if I have a cut on my hand. Yeah. But, and you can go actually, I don't know, my gear and darts, I don't know if you can go as far as the boars, mm -hmm. but I can go up to at least my elbow. Oh, inside. Wow. All right, come on, Mary. We gotta, we gotta get this other one out. Don't be afraid to pull. <laughs> okay. And if you may also have to reposition, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to push. You may think you're hurting her, but you're gonna have to push pretty hard. Cause, okay. Um. But uh, the only reason why I hurried up and got that one out, I could kind of tell by the feet that the water had already broke and of okay. him having poop on. Right. You don't want. So. Don't want that one to breathe. And then. that's a girl. <laughs> Yay! So we got a boy and a girl. We're going to be selling most of the babies this year, so because we're taking a break from um, kidding or fair. So. Okay. But what I try to do is make sure they have their CDT and their bow seat a month before the kid. Yep. And then that's when I kind of start up in their green a bit too. Mm -hmm. Everybody's together until a month before the kid, and then they come in here okay so that way they can get fed individual mm -hmm. and that I know these guys they get a pound of food a day Wow <laughs> now what I did with these guys here is about a week before they kid in here I actually upped them to two pounds of grain a day um, worm them and give them both C and CDT as well before I throw them in with the buck a month mm -hmm. before so that way they're all good to go. Yep. And even the buck, I even do that with the buck. I give him, warm him and, and give him his shots as well. When they're coming, it's to pull down long mommy instead of straight out. Okay. Kind of pull down mm -hmm. towards mommy. Okay. So, because it's kind of how they're arched anyways, mm -hmm. coming out. So. He's trying to go, buddy. Yes. <laughs> and I did not see you eat yet, so you need to eat. He's, probably, he's gotta be at least seven pounds, eight pounds, maybe. Yeah, he's a big boy. Yes, you are. You have daddy's chest. See how chunky. How wide that is? Yeah. That's from Daddy. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. This is her first boy. Yeah. Yeah. Go in there with your baby. We'll keep them warm. 
was probably about seven pounds he was he was a good size um, so probably much larger than the kids I will be seeing over the next two months I hope <laughs> and the doling was a good size too it's just incredible no matter how many times you see something like that or how much you know that's how kidding works right that's how life comes to be but it's really just amazing to see so thank you Lacey I really appreciate you texting me and having me over and thank you to Mary the goat for letting me attend your birth and pet your cute little babies I wasn't sure if she would you know be upset that I was petting her brand new born babies. I mean, I would be upset if someone were touching my brand new baby. <laughs> she was cool with it. She was a friendly, happy goat. So thanks, Mary. Another great thing about YouTube, finding another goat mama so close by who is willing to share everything that she knows about kidding and what she does and her experiences. So awesome way to start my week. I'm back home in the warm now. Wow, what an amazing thing to witness this morning. It was also really interesting to hear Lacey talk about how you balance how much you should intervene. The second kid, the doling, uh, Lacey pulled because the water had broken and the other uh, kid, the buckling, had, I mean, I guess in humans you call it meconium. I don't know what you call it in goats, but he had already pooped before he was delivered. That's why she wanted to get that doling out of there quickly, which makes sense, right? That goes back to my, I do know stuff about mammals being born. Maybe not goats, but I feel like after today, I'm a little more confident. Of course, I've watched tons of YouTube videos and read like a crazy person. Kenny makes fun of me because I've got animal textbooks laying around the house. Just, you know, a little light reading, but that's who I am. These are the things I research. It did dawn on me that I might have to reach inside of a goat. <laughs> that could definitely happen. So yeah. But I've learned to do lots of things with goats that I never imagined I would be doing. I never imagined I would give vaccines or pick up poop with my bare hands and rifle through it to see what's going on. I am sure that I can also reach into a goat's uterus. It'll be fine. Thank you again to Lacey from Heart of the Matter Farm. She also has a YouTube channel. She live streamed Mary's birth and um, has some other good goat content. Definitely a knowledgeable person that I'm super glad I got connected with and is very close by. Everyone stay tuned for uh, building of the kidding stall. I've got like a big stall, but I need to divide it up. And for Goat Baby Watch. 2019. Woohoo! Thanks everybody for watching. See you soon.